this method on the left, as you can see, um, getting calls from within a method called get detail. And uh, if I wanted to test get detail, I would have either to uh, mock or somehow basically find a fake equivalent for this get vulnerability detail method. Um, and now you can see there's a problem with it right away where um, it's um, sort of called on the fly, as you can say. So um, an, an anonymous instance of DB config struct is created and uh, the method on that is called. And the reason for that doing that is because today we have get vulnerability detail as a function on this struct, um, which, which lives here. So, so that's like half the problem solved already. The only, the only bit that we don't have is how are we gonna inject. Um, so let me just go back to that. Um, how are we going to inject um, this call side with, with, uh, with, with one of our own for writing a test? So if you take a look at where the config struct lives um, prior to the change, you can see that it lives here and then it has a bunch of functions on it. Um, some of them are exported, some of them are not exported, but one thing that it's lacking um, and as the other half of the puzzle is that it's not implementing an interface. Um, so um, uh, without you know going into much detail, what I'm basically referring to as um, it's not specifying a spec that other people or other types or other fake structures can implement to be able to mock um, or to be able to create a mock for methods of the config struct. So in Go, fortunately, um, duct typing exists. And for those who are not familiar with duct typing, it's basically in in a, in a short sentence, if you, were, if you were to put it, it's like, if something walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it's probably a duck. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's an easy way to sort of say that you don't have to implement all the necessary details of an implementation spec. As long as you implement just enough, it's good enough for you to use. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll show some pseudocode if that didn't make sense. So um, if you take a look at this tiny Python code, it's, it's just an example of, from Wikipedia for duck typing. Um, I was too lazy to make one up, but um, in this case, duck has a fly method, spare has a fly method, but real does not have a fly method. So if you try to call animal.fly, it will, it will fail out. Um, so if that makes sense, like it, we just need to provide the methods that, that we need to mock in this case. So um, switching back to code here, um, in this case, I wanted to test uh, the get vulnerability detail method. I mean, there, I'm sure there are other places where we will need the other methods that this config struct provides, but in this case, I just wanted to test this. So what I did is um, created a new interface. Um, and as part of that, I did uh, create a new interface that the config struct will implement. But config struct implements a lot of other methods and I didn't add them to an interface for a reason. So first one being, I wanted to keep this diff small so I could show it to you and to other people who are reviewing this piece of code in the future or just looking at it. Um, and the other is at the moment when I'm testing this, I don't need all methods to be on um, this interface. Um, this is slightly different from some other programming languages you might be aware. Um, so for something in Java, this might be an equivalent of an, of an abstract class um, where, um, you know, you might be thinking I need to implement all the, implement, uh, all, the, all the methods that an abstract class implements to be able to behave like one. Um, but this is slightly different. This is um, me creating one method or implementing one method and adding to that interface. Um, so there's that. Um, and 
Um, and the other change would be, um, you know, how do we actually use this? So, uh, sorry, this is not the one. Uh, wait a second. Um, yeah, so um, instead of, uh, where did that go? Okay, so instead of um, calling structs, anonymous structs on the fly, we can inject structs, which I, like I mentioned is the other half. Um, um, and by injecting, you can in also inject a fake in tests. So um, that's what I did. So in this case, in the case of a test, um, or first I'll actually go through this. So uh, in the case of the real function, now it calls get vulnerability detail, which you know is a method on dbconfig, and dbconfig is actually now, as you saw earlier, um, uh, an interface. Um, so I'm trying to find. Um, just trying to find it. Okay, uh, it implements the vuln operation interface, and um, in the test. Um, this is something you might be familiar with. Um, you know, I'm just creating a mock struct which implements this interface and has, um, you know, um, a fake implementation behavior defined for certain type of inputs. So in this test, I just wanted to step out this piece of code and return back a map, um, and then you know. Um, I go my happy way to to be able to test to be able to test it. Um, so that way, um, I was able to sort of um, test this piece of logic here, uh, where um, where today, if you take a look at it, uh, it. Uh, um, it takes a look at something like this, where like I have, you know, um, I mean, there's other changes that you know are not relevant to this, but um, I have um, I have a method just for this piece of code that previously was untested, um, and now I have uh, mocks in place, and I can add different implementations and other error-prone behaviors um, to it. So, yeah, that's all. Um, probably something simple, um, I mean, you probably already know this, but just wanted to share that.